I lost some weight, which set off a strange wave of paranoia among people who think I have either had my stomach stapled or rubber banded, or that I'm on some freaky raw food diet or whatever. What happened was, I was fucking sick and tired of dieting and working out. I was fucking sick and tired of my trainer and any type of exercise. I was fucking sick and tired of no carbs. I was fucking sick and tired of eating five to seven small meals a day. I was fucking sick and tired of thinking about food and not thinking about food at the same time. I was fucking sick and tired of buying clothes that were too small for me so I could thin into them. I went to a nutritionist and lost a lot of money. I never left his office without dropping at least a grand on bullshit, pills, supplements, shakes, food substitutes, exercise programs. I said fucking fuck this, fuck it, fuck it, seriously fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I stopped going to Fred Siegel and buying the one thing in the whole store that fit me. I started buying clothes that fucking fit me. I put away all notions of what diets meant to me, what I was supposed to eat and not supposed to eat. I altogether lost the thought process that carried me through my life, my dieting and exercise regimen, and started thinking about the people I loved, hated, tolerated, laughed at, laughed with. There was a lot of time to read. I wanted to watch old movies. I ate a lot of shitty food. I gained some weight, and it was scary. But it didn't really make a difference. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I stopped exercising, and I started writing. I played with my dogs. I looked at shit on eBay. I started to eat what I wanted and kept eating what I wanted. Not a food vacation, not a respite between diets. I just was going to eat, 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 and fucking eat some more. Then I kind of started to get weirdly thinner. I get it now. Because I don't care about food and it's there when I want it, I don't think about it and crave it. Since I can have everything, nothing is that important. I don't need to eat a whole cake because... I can eat a whole cake every day at every meal if I want, and I don't care. I don't prepare in advance to eat because I might be hungry later, and they won't have what I want. When I'm hungry, I eat. That's the weird diet in a sentence. Here's what I usually eat every day. In the morning, I have a bowl of cereal, granola, and life mixed together. If I'm staying at a hotel, I have granola and yogurt, croissants, one chocolate and one regular, and then a large cranberry juice. I drink a lot of water and a lot of lemonade, regular Coke. No diet anything, ever. After that, I usually eat a peanut butter cup or something like that. Then I get to work, writing usually, recording sometimes, interviews, etc. I get hungry again in the early afternoon, and I eat what I think is a good thing at the moment, mac and cheese, or maybe pizza. I eat as much as I want, but it's usually too rich to eat at all, and since I'm not dieting anymore, and I don't need to cram the forbidden food down before the diet starts up again, I eat as much as I feel good eating and leave the rest. I leave a lot on the plate because I don't need to clean my plate. Why? I don't have to. And the value of not having to finish all my food probably has contributed the most to my healing with food. I used to feel like I needed to eat it all, all and then some. But it actually doesn't feel good to do that. It doesn't taste good either. I can have more food when I'm hungry again. I eat dinner late, usually with friends. I like appetizers. I'll order three or four types so I can enjoy a variety of edible treats instead of just one entree. If I wanted an entree, I would order more than one. I deserve to eat what I like. I never eat anything that doesn't taste heavenly. I never take anything home. I never eat leftovers. I never eat when I'm not hungry. I never let myself get too hungry. I never deny myself a fucking thing because I have denied myself enough things for a thousand lifetimes and there is no more denying for me in the way I live. I deserve all the fucking mozzarella sticks, all the chocolate, all the pizza, all the chicken a la king, and I deserve to leave what I don't finish on the plate. So there you have it, my big secret diet, love. Love and the audacity to actually waste food.